Badham Preschool, Freddy. All right. Let's go find ourselves some survivors. Okay, because I'm smart and everything, I decided that when I'm recording my gameplay, I'm going to be as quiet as possible. So instead, I'm going to come and do a voiceover explaining what was going through my noob mind, because I just got this game and I'm at, like, killer rank 17. Um, so I'm going, I'm going through here, I'm stalking survivors. I'm basically going to try to do my best to repeat what I was should have been saying. So I hear the generator over there is being repaired, and I sh sh don't even—I don't know where the survivor went that was repairing that. There are no scratch marks, and he wasn't there. Also, oh oh that's a mistake. God, Never so go and right uh, slash when you're the in the power because that's gonna take you out. Said, hey. man, you're awesome. How you doing, well, I'm I don't even know what this Steve was trying to do. Was he trying to blind me? Is it's the first time using his flashlight? I had no idea what he was trying to do, but he just went down way too quickly. Sorry, Steve, but you got a flashlight on you. That makes you el numero uno. Makes you what? Num number one. El numero numer numero uno. After displaying my amazing bilingual skills, I decided to uh, I decided to go into the night shroud, and I saw that somebody saw me from over there. So instead of trying to go find a better place to stock, I decided to take him head on. And with, again, another really shitty idea for me. Again, I was wasn't able to mark the. I wasn't even close. I did, forgot that you can see down there where you've marked them, and went on a pretty quick chase. But she was stalked. So this, um, I can't remember who this, I think it's Jane, she was using head-on, so she hides in the locker for three seconds and she runs out, she stuns me. I was looking for the basement here, and there was no basement there, and I've been trying, I haven't hooked the survivor in the basement in a public match yet, I'm kind of sad about that. So I'm going back, I hear the generators being repaired in here, I see these scratch marks, but I don't see the survivor who left them, so instead of going on a chase for there, I decided to go and uh, prioritize here. And the Steve made a huge mistake, because he was unhooked from right over there, and you should probably go at least try to heal up or get as far away from the hook as possible, so you're not just like hiding there waiting for the killer to come back and hook you again. Another example of me using uh, Night Shroud way too early before I could even start crouching. I knew the survivor was there and just took me out of the power before I could really even use it. That's another lengthy cooldown. But also, Night Shroud has got the cool little ability that when it, whoever sees you is highlighted in that red little blood web kind of thing. And so that, th so that allowed me to. Um, I'd. English is hard. That allowed me to see where she was and start the chase, which ended pretty quickly with uh, oh God, her trying oh to vault the pallet again, Why which didn't really work out. And I go the completely opposite way of where the. Uh, Did you already use the hook to sacrifice um, somebody? Again, English is hard. I can't do this, but I, 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 this this detective tap just walked right towards me, and this is a perfect display of my complete prowess with loops as a killer as I just end up going back, kind of like going back and forth in the weird mating dance with this um, fine. detective tap. He was probably going to go try to unhook the Steve, and you'll see later, it's kind of a thing, when he's getting chased he tries to unhook the survivor, so I wonder if he's running borrowed, but I don't think he was running borrowed time because I was able to down them. Spoilers for later in the match. Oh no, I think it's about to happen right here. He's going to unhook this Jane while he it was being chased by the killer, which Bro, is just a huge mistake, because now he's killed. downed, and she's about to die, and since hitboxes don't exist in this game, I was able to make that hit, so he just ended up, instead of saving one survivor, he just cuckle-fucked the team, and now two of them are down, leaving one of them still up and running. Whoever this last survivor is definitely deserves the hatch. <sighs> I like
like the hillbilly. The hillbillies is fun to play. Bro, you all, you all ain't smart. Alright, again, they can't really blame the survivors for this one, but the killer was like right over there, and if, if, again, if there's a van right there, so it probably obstructed the view, but um, now I'm going to go after this tap, because I'm not tunneling this guy, this guy just got unhooked, it's much easier to go after him, because he's going to, I'm going to put him in, right into the struggle I'm phase. Not you, man. You're just the easiest guy to go after. So, again, if you're going to unhook, you need to, if you're healthy, then again, she also wasn't healthy, she's still injured. But one of you, she, I don't think she's on her last hook. So if you, if you're injured and not haven't been hooked yet, you gotta, you should try to sacrifice yourself at least once to allow your teammates to try to, to try to get um away. English is hard and words are just gay. So now I guess you could say I'm being a little bit of a dick because I'm not really hook camping uh, tap, but at the same time I kind of am staying in a close proximity to him. And all that's left is a uh, is a uh, Jane. Um, I think she's Jane. I can't remember. She's the thick one. So now it's just they haven't gotten any generator done, and it's one survivor left. So they ha they, they got to find the hatch at this point, right? They have to be looking for that. I love that her only characteristic is that she's thick. Yeah, I don't remember what her perks are. So, I'm tr going around the map, I'm trying to find where she is, and uh, going, trying to look for the hatch too. Heading back towards the preschool, because I totally know the layout of this map, and I'm not just bullshitting it to make it sound like I know what I'm doing. So I go um, in the kitchen, and my mom's like, so I'm going to look for her. Like, she's got to be going for the hatch. People, so no, apparently she was repairing a generator this entire time. Which she just ended up being befuckled and she cuckle fucked herself this? and just shot down the stairs. <laughs> Yet a Sorry, prime example. <laughs> Look at all the fucks I give. And she ended up just dying because no. she. If, if it's points, more than f like two open. generators you need to repair, and if you're not good at losing a killer. Noted. D don't go to repair generators. That knows that the hatch was right next to her. And I got the so I don't the even know too. why she went Holy for that. But yeah, so there you guys have it. This is the end of my first Dead by Daylight video I've done. I'm running out of time to say things, so I uh, so, uh, uh, do stuff. Bye. Alright, so I'm also extremely smart and forgot I could just add more clips after the fact. Um, so if you guys, so that was, yeah, that was my first Dead by Daylight video, uh, if you guys want, uh, you could leave suggestions as to who I should play next, I don't have all the killers unlocked, but I do have a decent amount of them, I don't really play Survivor much, but again, I'm open to suggestions, to, I'm gonna try to revive this dead channel, um, but yeah, leave, uh, let me know, what, what do you think of the gameplay, if you guys have any tips or tricks or suggestions, or if you just wanna say I'm gay, you know, I'm open to basically anything, um, but yeah, just... I don't know what. Uh, how do you YouTubers make this look seem like effortless? I don't know, but um, yeah.